How you going, Lincoln here from Landfish TV. You probably saw this little beastie thing on my last video in Docklands at the end of it, but today I'm here down at Edgewater in Maribyrnong to show you a couple of little things about what this power dolphin from Power Vision can do. This is one of the most unique things I've seen in a couple of years. So it's got a 4K camera, it's got the Wi-Fi up to 800 meters, fish finder, two motors, and the bait release at the back. So how cool is this thing? You've got a really handle one and use it to really appreciate how cool these things are so inside you've got your battery which those tabs come up and you can lift it out and then inside here that's where your sd card goes so you can record some footage and plug it directly back into the computer so you really got to make sure before you start using this you're putting that back in there nicely so no water can get in there so I'm gonna pop this battery in, make sure it's pushed down. You'll hear it click in. Put this cover back on. And we're good to go. So this is the remote and it's pretty similar to anyone who's used to DJI. It's got these antennas that fold out and you've got a little holder for your phone in there. And it's got its own button so you can actually run the drone by itself without a phone in there as long as it's connected. So if you're just running the drone just with the remote, you've only got the basic functions, which is to lock and unlock the propellers, return home, drop the bait and power on and off, and obviously your forwards and your steering. So it comes with its own app, which is Vision Plus 2. So I'm gonna log in there and we're gonna follow the instructions to link it all up. So there's your screen there. Gonna go into access device, connect to device. Gonna do it via Wi-Fi. So from the phone to the remote, then from the remote, to the drone or via Wi-Fi. You're gonna click on that. So we're gonna start this thing up. What we're gonna do is follow the instructions on the screen and I've done everything else. So I'm just gonna jump straight to turning it on. Listen to this. So there you go, that's on. So we're gonna click next, unfold the antennas. So I'm gonna put them straight up like that. And you can adjust this front, this front camera up like that. So you can get a different angle. So I've done all that. So what I'm gonna do here now is start the remote, hold it down for three seconds. A noise happens there. Then what I'm gonna do is gonna go into my Wi-Fi settings. So there we go, it's popped up. So I'm just gonna click on that one, connect to it. Now we're connected to that remote. So I'll pop the phone in the holder. So it's nice and easy, easy to use. Now we can access the device and we're in. How cool is that? So what I'm going to do is going to link the fish finder now. So down to the fish finder, link. Oh, it's, there we go. Go for a cruise. So we've got the fish finder linked up now. First time I've actually linked up the fish finder to it. But looking pretty cool. Let's jump into here. Might need to adjust the sensitivity in here. Yeah, so it actually looks like there's a fish under there. I reckon it's two and a half meters in here. I didn't think it was two and a half meters in here. Let's just come in closer to yeah. shore. and see if it can, because I know it gets a bit shallower up here. Oh yeah. So there you go, a bit of a drop off there. So what I'm gonna do now is see if it can pull those bottles with the bait latch to see how much weight it can actually pull around because this thing is meant for bait dropping and finding out where to put the bait drops. So I'm gonna link up one of these. So preparing the bait drop is easy as you open this back. So I'm gonna grab one of these bottles 
1.25 a litre. Got, uh, I think that's like 40 pound or something on there. So let's see how buoyant this is by itself. So it stays on the surface a bit, which is what I want, because when you've got baits and stuff like that, it's not exactly going to be total dead weight. So this will be a good test. So going to put this in there, looped on, and that's locked in. So drain will go in the water, bottle will go in the water. Let's see how we go with this. Okay. So I just took it all the way out to the bridge and back. So I'm bringing it a bit closer in here so I can do the, the bait drop and I'm not leaving a bottle out there somewhere. So I might just see if I can do it here somewhere. So if I wanted to bait drop. There. And free. So that was 1.25 litres in a bottle that I was able to take out to that bridge over there and back. And I've dropped it just here, just so I'll be able to pick it up. I might actually have to use the drone to push it into me now. But it's a good indication on how much weight it can take and what sort of bait should be able to use. Well, that's pretty cool that it can tow and drop off something that size. So that's plenty of baits covered if you are going to use baits that big, which is huge. <laughs> And here's got self light function, I'm not touching it. So it's gonna put itself back right up. There we go. So that was automatic, I wasn't touching the remote at all. And it was able to go out there and self ride itself. And I mean, it's pretty cool that it has a 4K camera. So then I can film myself in all sorts of different angles like this and then turn it before I, oh, wrong way. Oh, I crashed it. Ah, oh, she's right. Bent the antenna back a little bit, which just goes back up. How cool is it that you can actually see the depth of the water wherever you want? Before there's things like the Deeper Pro, which you can cast out and have a look around and see the depths and things like that and do some mapping, but they don't have the capability this thing does, that's for sure. Because this thing can go out there and show you exactly what the depth is. So it's pretty stand all along here, 2.3 to 2.5, but it can go and show you the depth of that area. And you'll be able to find those little drop-offs drop and those little areas where the fish are actually hanging out, which is really, really cool. So it's also got a return to home function, which I'm gonna test out here for you now. I'm gonna take it out there to the bridge and then see if it'll come back to me. Hopefully it does. So all stop completely stopped now so I'm just gonna bring that map up and what I'm gonna do now is you can either press it down on this remote where you can see the return to home button or you can press it on your phone which is just up here I've used the one on the remote but I haven't used one on my phone yet so I'm gonna use that return to home yep come back to me making a beat See it on the map, see it on the camera. It's coming back to say good day. There you go. Easy as that. So I think something like this powered off and by Power Vision would be good on those days where you can't get one of those bait drones with the bait releases out. So the aerial drones that normally people use to get out there. On days when it's too windy for that, something like this would be absolutely perfect. So there's a link in the description below that'll take you to a website with more information about these things. So if you're interested, click on it, go check it out. Well, hopefully you enjoyed the video. See you next time.